So let's start our discussion by understanding about R language and CRA. So R was basically created by Ross Yahaka and Robert Gentleman. So R is an implementation of a previously existing language called S and it is mostly written in C, Fortran and R itself. So there are many packages available in R which are already written in R language itself. So if you uh, have a good understanding of R language and if you want to do some custom changes in these packages, you can go ahead and do that. That's why many programmers love to work with R. So R is a free available software, language or environment that you can use for multi-purposes such as statistical computing, uh, data visualization, linear non-linear modeling of your data, uh, time series analysis, as well as classification of your data, trusting your data. So there are multiple purposes where you can use your uh, R language. Then let's talk about uh, CRN. So CRN, the full form of CRN is basically comprehensive R archive network. So as the name suggests, it is a network of FTP and wave servers where most of the things related to R uh, is kept, such as uh, different versions of uh, R, uh, different ports of R, different documentation of R, different packages, uh, updated packages, new packages, so all of these things you are going to find at the CRN. So you can say it is kind of a repository. So whenever you want to install R in your system, you want to install any particular version of R in your system, you can go ahead and find that at CRN. Also, if you want to install many uh, different packages update, uh, or uh, you want to uh, install any updated packages, you can go ahead and download it from CRN. Now let's talk about one of the most important questions that whether to go with Python or whether to go with R. As you know, R and Python, both are open source programming languages. That means people keep on contributing towards the betterment of both of these languages. They keep on adding new packages, new libraries, so that uh, it, they can serve more purposes in a better way. But R is mainly used for statistical analysis purpose because it has many state of the art statistical packages available which can help you to do data analysis in a much better way. Python, although it's similar to R with most of the functionalities, and now that pandas and numpy is also available in the Python library, it can also be used for data analysis purposes, but it is mostly used when you have a uh, machine learning project or deep learning project or any project which you want to develop and then deploy it to production, or you want to integrate those projects to certain APIs. So in those cases, Python is more preferred than R. Also, if you talk about text analytics, NLP, or deep learning problems, then uh, R is not as much used as much as Python. So R is mainly used by statisticians, researchers, or data analysts because R was created for that purpose only. With the vast libraries R has uh, with different statistical tools, data visualization tools, that when it comes to the field of EDA, then R is much, much, much preferred than Python. That is why it is so much fancied by researchers and it is used for different academic purposes as well. There are many different packages available in R that can solve the finance related problems, economic related problems or time series related problems. If you go ahead and check the official documentation of R, you will find that there are many functions defined which are uh, created just for the sole purpose of doing financial related problems such as F assets, F options, uh, F bonds. So these are some of the packages that are available just to solve finance related problems. And similarly, there are multiple functions and packages available to solve economics related problems as well. And same goes for time series problems. If you talk about in terms of community, then the community of R users is very huge and very vibrant. And if you have any problems or if you want to know something that is uh, new to the R programming language or any updates have been made to, made to the different packages or you want to solve a new kind of problem using R, then you can go ahead and have that discussion in this community as well. Now, because of this state of the art uh, packages available for data analysis and data visualization, many big companies like Microsoft, Facebook, Google, they use R for statistical analysis purpose and data visualization purpose. So concludingly, we can say that there is no such thing like R is better or Python is better, but it all depends on the use cases of what exactly you want to do with your data set. If you want to get some mathematical relationship out of your data set, if you want to see the mathematical aspect of your data set, if you want to do statistical analysis on your data set, or if you want to create beautiful visualization graphs out, out, out of your data set, then on those cases, R is more preferred than Python. 
or if you want to solve machine learning problems, deep learning problems, in those cases, you can go ahead and use Python. So it's better if you know uh, both of these languages, uh, if you want to, and there are new packages also being developed or new libraries also being developed that you can use to integrate R with Python or Python with R so that you can get better of both of these languages. So we cannot say that this language is better or that language is better. But yeah, uh, the use cases for these languages are uh, different. And I just, I, just like I told you that both of these languages are evolving with time. So now many new packages are also being introduced to R where you can use it just like uh, you use Python to do web scrapping, machine learning problems or to solve deep learning problems.